fresh and ready for harvest. Their journey began here through soilless cultivation, a process called aquaponics. Abdal El Fandi and his startup Hydro Harvest produce approximately three kilograms of vegetables, including lettuce, mint, basil, and kale, through this innovative fusion. Aquaponic merges two technologies, the technology of fish farming and the technology of hydroponics, or what is known as soliness farming. These two are integrated in two unified systems where the output from the fish farming are used as input for plant production in a closed cycle. Aquaponics creates a closed loop. Fish waste fertilizes the plants and the plants in turn clean the water for the fish. A win-win that saves resources in a country where water remains scarce. Utilizing limited resources such as water and arable land in an effective and efficient way. We don't waste these resources. And at the same time, the land where the plant is not exploited, we can use it for so many years with continuity and without treatment. Water scarcity is a huge challenge in Libya with agriculture using over 80% of the country's fresh water supply, according to a 2022 UNICEF report. Elfandi says his startup's efficient system could now be a lifeline for many in Libya, producing high yields with minimal land and water. Production is environmentally friendly. Most of the output and the waste of the hydro harvest are recycled, whether through converting it into nitrogen through nitrification, the treatment of nitrification, or by using water in the seedling stage in the nursery at the beginning of leafy green seedlings. The third reason is clean production. We at the hydro harvest ban and limit the usage of chemical materials. We have zero usage of pesticide. We ban the usage of any kind of chemical or fungal treatment or pesticide inside the greenhouse. With demand for water in Libya set to surge by nearly 40% by 2030, hydro harvest is paving the way for a future where sustainable farming thrives against the odds while increasing the North African nation's food security in the process. Najma Abdurizak, CGTN.